Hey guys, John here, back with another Bloxing tutorial. Today we're going to be discussing slash commands, how to use them, and some problems you may encounter. First, let's start with the question, how do you use slash commands? So let's start with an example. I'll type in slash and then the command I want, get info, slash get info. Now I just click on the box that I want. I will search someone by their Roblox name. Click, type in the username, enter, done. There are also commands where I don't need to respond to, like slash get role. Just type it in and done. I only need to respond to it if it gives me choices like boxes, then I have to reply. An example of this is slash update. I'm going to click an option, either user or role, I have to click an option. And then it'll ask me, who's the user? If I just try to type in their name and click enter, it will not work. I have to choose the name from the drop down menu. I can either click on it or if it's highlighted, just click tab and click enter and the command successfully works. Now I know what you're thinking. Does this work the same on mobile? And yes, it does. Here I am on an iPhone. I'll try running the same command slash get info. Then at the top, you'll ask me Roblox name or discord user. I'll just tap on discord user. I'll type in John, my discord name, and I'll click John at the top and send. Yep, works the same way. Now, there are still some problems you may encounter because this is still a new feature. So I'll show you some issues in how to solve them. Starting with no commands are showing up. Even when I type in the command name with the slash, nothing shows up like this. So this usually applies to users without administrator perms. So the owner may have slash commands, but the users won't. To fix this, you need an administrator to go into channel permissions. The administrator needs to open server settings, head to the roles. We're going to scroll down to the everyone role and scroll down in the permissions until you find use application commands. We're going to make sure this is green and save changes. This will allow everyone to use slash commands. So I went back to my alt, tried again, and now the commands show up just fine. Another common issue users make is that they still have this permission disabled, but in channels. If you still can't see commands, double check that you don't have this issue. Let's go to the channel that we're having issues on. So I'll do tutorial. I'll open edit channel and I'll go to permissions. Select the everyone role and then scroll down to application commands. If it's red, this is very bad. That's why your commands are not working. Make sure it's on green. Even if it's another role, make sure application commands are never set to red and always either middle or green. You never want that disabled. Now our commands should work just fine. Now, if you still cannot see commands, even if you're the owner, nobody can see slash commands, then you simply need to re-invite the bot. Don't worry, you don't need to kick it. Just click the profile picture of the bot and click add to server and re-invite it to your server. It should work now and all commands should show. Another issue you may have is little red error messages under your prompt. Ones like this one that say invalid form body. Usually when you get this error message, it's because you have an outdated client. And to fix this issue, just update your client. If you're on mobile, it's recommended to re-download Discord if you don't have an update pending. For PC, it's usually just a little green arrow at the top. Now, if you're still having issues, even after all the solutions, then please join our support server. The link is in the description. We'll gladly help you out. As always, if you enjoyed that tutorial, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.